world how's it going i hope you guys are all doing great if not as always hope it gets better for you so we are up in the upper section of the fish house fish room whatever you want to call it and we're going to do a tot of this tank all right so this is a pretty special tank for me and it's really interesting this isn't like eh, just no filter none of that this is actually one of my filter aquariums so get this i got this in 2017 from the Fluval aquascape and aga contest which was a great time big shout out to them for giving out these kind of tanks stain came with it filter came with it light came with it but i gotta give it to Fluval because i have been running this 206 down here ever since they gave it to me now it's kind of odd because it actually goes through the bottom as you see, there's nothing at the top, so it was made. See where the stem comes out? Just purely for aquascaping. But this thing has been running. Have not cleaned out that filter this whole time. And it's still been running. And look at the water clarity. Like, look at that. Like, crystal clear. I don't even know the last time I changed the water on this tank. Like, I never changed water on this tank. Maybe twice in the last year. And it has been just doing phenomenal. Now, I did used to run CO2 in here, but I don't anymore. Just because I haven't refilled it. The bulbous deformis that I had in here growing up and out really needed that CO2 to live. And it really doesn't do well underwater. It needs to, like, get up, out, escape to get the atmosphere but still don't know why it didn't do well without the co2 even though it was up and out of the tank but you know um maybe there's something to it i don't know you think i'd be able to get it from the atmosphere but it still died so we're left off with philippine ferns over here pilo moss all around here and then we got wind of fern down here at the bottom more philippine fern and zanita driftwood now the old videos of these you can go back in some of the old tot's like there's driftwood all throughout here it was really really hard to escape everything going on right now i have not had time to really manicure anything so it is just bushed and jungled out and you can see the filter is barely going though which i can prime that and get it going back real quick it's a fluval light as well You can see where this is meshed all together. The Philippine fern leaves dying here. Most of them have died off. And then the pilo moss mixed in. Growing all the way up here. There used to be a lot of HC in here too. There's a little bit of HC still in with this pilo moss on that driftwood. There you can see it. As far as this Philippine fern goes, it's absolutely massive, but it's not like one big plant. It's all these like smaller plants. So it breaks off into many, many pieces. But it's a bush. It's a bush. And you can see how dark it can grow too. Like if you look over in this back corner, so you see the tank here, but if you look down here in this dark, dark corner, look how dark that stuff's growing super dark in there so it doesn't require much light then as far as the fish these are rainbow tiger inlers mixed with albino galaxy guppies then there's also some leopard longfin danios in here here's actually more of a wild form of the rainbow tiger inler guppies and i do still get the albino coloration every once in a while with these rainbow tiger inler uh, albino galaxy guppy mixes yeah these things are really sweet which at some of the conventions some of you guys may have gotten some of these already but i have not offered them on the site yet and the lighting coloration when it comes to them like you see here they do have some rainbow to their tail and it all kind of depends on the lighting, like the way it hits it and stuff. Oh, pretty neat. There is a cool little hidden passage there. There's also some hidden passages on through here. I don't know, I still love the look. All the different looks that have come from it. Just even one hardscape. Just from different growths of the plants and just different stages. I've seen this thing transition so many times and there's so much. And one of the cool things about it is it's not really that deep of a tank but it does look way deeper than it really is. 
when you look at it from the front. Looks like it's completely full. But there you have it. There's the Fluval Aquascaping Tank from 2017 from the Aquatic Experience a long time ago. Like that, the convention's not even around anymore, but it's been going with a filter that hasn't been cleaned for what, three, four, almost four years now. Pretty crazy. So, I mean, Fluval must make a good filter. Nice to have those primers on there to clean it. It would have been nice to have a picture here or something. But anyways, hit that like button. Hope you guys liked it. And until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great one.